Hello, I'm Chris. Welcome to the tour of my Hillside Cromford camper van. Uh, it's on, based on a Volkswagen T5 facelift uh, 2013 model. It was converted about three years old, so it's not that old. It's about a six year old conversion, but it's still in very good condition. It's a bit different from your normal Volkswagen uh, transporter camper van. Uh, I'm going to do a lot of speaking inside rather than outside because it's a very windy day although it's quite warm as you can tell by my red face. Uh, but I um, hope you enjoy the tour. So a quick, look, a quick look at the cab. It is a quite a basic model but we do have the air conditioning. Uh, previous owners have put in a new stereo upgraded uh, one uh, Pioneer. Um, so you can get your Bluetooth uh, hands-free. Um, if you've got an iPhone, which I don't, you can connect that for your maps and that. You can do it with Android, but you have to get some weird apps that don't work very well. So I just use the the little uh, gadget up the top there to put my phone in and put uh, just uh, Google Maps on, uh, connect, connect it with the lead uh, for charging. And... Yeah, so see no stereo controls uh, on the steering wheel, but I've added a leather um, cover. Um, but otherwise, it's uh, it's got everything we need. Uh, comfortable two captain seats, both of them swivel. I've got the passengers swiveled at the moment, but they both do swivel. Uh, now we have a little look at the odd layout we have here. So we have two single rear seats. Normally have child seats in there but I've taken them out first of hoovering. We've got a removable sing table with a single leg in the middle. I will put that away. So the table stores against that sideboard there with a clip there and some um, holders at the bottom and the leg goes down the side at the seat with the opening door. Um, we do have a little gadget to go in the hole in the floor, although much of a difference it makes, I don't know. But the two passenger seats, they're RIB, RIB uh, crash tested um, seats with armrests, headrests, full three point seat belts, and they both fold down into two single beds which is easy to do just simply move over the back and then underneath this one you can see the leisure battery unfortunately you only got space for one battery but uh, with the solar panel we've got on top it seems to be okay and this tank here is the hot water it's only electric uh, obviously if your mains hook up that's that's fine, you use that. Um, otherwise you can use it when you're traveling. It's got a 300 watt element and you switch it on with the switch over there. Obviously only when you're driving, it won't come on. That lights up when it's actually, when you're actually driving. And it does uh, keep it warm or it does warm it up if you've gone on a long drive uh, and after washing up, maybe a quick shower or a cool shower. <laughs> and then this backrest comes down. When you're on a campsite, you can have that swiveled as well. Um, you've got a single bed, or just as we use it, it's like a like a sofa. Good to for the boys to our two boys to sit on there, have their lunches, dinners, like up against the table, or we can all sit on there and watch a film and play on tablets. Uh, you could have both done as as sofas if you really wanted to but obviously you can't then use that side door obviously under there that one is fully storage so potentially you could put another ledger battery under there but then it means running cables under the van um etc so this makes a nice single bed you can get it flat and level i've not actually tried these beds out i'm um, not for sleeping in because so far i've only been sleeping up in the roof uh, with the eldest boy while the youngest um, 
was sleeping down here with my wife but hopefully this year we'll be able to try out the because uh, this actually does pull into a double bed um, by although you've got the adjustment forward and backwards like you would on a normal seat you also got sideways adjustment so you can do that gent <laughs> um, you can um, pull the two together make a uh, good size double bed but you do get the full width for the van in terms of uh, elbow room so yeah be nice to try that out this time oh, fingers crossed now before I go further I'm gonna open up the pop top roof there's basically there's two like your normal pop top roof catches here we tie it in a knot as well just to give us a little bit of extra security and also keeps these uh, extra bits out of the way so we've got two of them in the front one there one there so I'll loosen them off first now in the back of the van we've got this cover that slots back and then this is the main catch it's SCA roof so we'll lever across and then we push it up I need to open a door because <laughs> or else we're not gonna um, open it so now I've got a door open so like a bellows if you haven't got any door open it's gonna create a suction and as you lift the roof up it uh, sucks in loads of air so you need a door window open and here's the big double bed up in the roof which is comfortable to a degree but you've only got a thin mattress and there's not any room really for a big anything thicker because it's a low line roof with not much space uh, and obviously saying we're gonna have children up here we have got a safety net clips up into place plus there is the uh, the, the cover the sliding cover underneath if we so desired uh, we shall see how we go um, so let's lift the uh, the bed up to give full height across the whole camper van um, you do have the a nice side window just uh, it's a bit dirty rain um, stained we go to the seaside a lot so uh, yeah a bit salty probably um, it does roll up nice and neat you have a mesh one in the rear with a fly screen there is one up the top as well good one for night times doesn't let in a lot of light uh, and again on this side another mesh so you've got plenty of ventilation plus down either side the passenger seats you have a sliding window and again over on this side another sliding window so plenty of ventilation so the unusual layout does mean that behind the rear seats through the gap we have our kitchen in the back so this side we have a sink with hot and cold water, pumped water. There is a 60 litre onboard water tank, fresh water tank, and a 30 litre, I think, uh, waste tank. All under slung, so a little bit of a worry in the, the winter, but when it gets really cold, we drain that, drain those tanks down and uh, just take a uh, small water butt with a tap with us. So this side we have a Smev hob, a two ring hob, um, plenty of work top this side it goes under there we have a shelf above with our tea coffee mugs up in there and below the uh, the hob we have a microwave <sighs> not sure if this is a good thing or not but it is handy on electric hookup because a lot of sites with a camper van they want you to have hard standing which in you have to have an electric hookup so it helped make the most of the uh, your electric underneath there we have a drawer that we managed to stick all our cooking pots pans kettle 
the Ridge Monkey, which are really good. There's a chopping board, uh, four small plates for bowls, and then four large plates underneath, washing up liquid. So, very good drawer that one. And then this side we have a 50 litre, I believe it's a 50 litre Waco fridge, um, 12 volt. With an ice box which is very good for uh, ice lollies on hot days even just for days out uh, and there we have the Espasha diesel heater which uh nice for telling the temperature so you see it's a warm day 23 today <laughs> and that comes out underneath the uh, driver's seat so that side you don't have any storage but the under the passenger side those panels are held on with uh with, well, we fitted them and they're held on with Velcro and you've got storage under there for like your breakdown stuff. So we also have uh, a carbon monoxide alarm, um, two, uh, two 40 volt sockets, a uh, 12 volt socket. I have got a um, adapter to plug in there for um, USB. I haven't tried it yet. I uh, only just bought it. Um, so that's... Uh, which got two USBs, two amp USBs on it. Uh, and underneath this worktop, have large drawer for utensils, and again more utensils up in the top. Double height drawer, latches in. Nice large cupboard under here. At the top, you have the 12 volt charger, two 40 volt. Um, consumer unit and 12 volt fuses at the top there are some more 12 volt fuses under the passenger seat with the uh, uh, leisure battery and then up in the top a silly place is the uh, is the switch for the hot water might think about changing that position at some point but see how much we actually use it and then another large cupboard goes right down in the corner and um, we've got some uh, wine glasses, plastic beakers, wash, um, got some co coffee mate in there and a few tins um, for uh, emergencies. I just realised I've left an orange in there from one of our recent day trips. Let's take that in before it goes mouldy. Now, we have a washroom in the back. It's a proper cassette toilet. Dometic. Um, Again, connected to the uh, the main wash tank, wash pump, so no flush water needed, and yeah, cassette in there. Uh, down in here we have the gas. Only room for one. Uh, this is the larger uh, camping gas bottle, but we do take a a trailer, so we usually have a spare gas bottle. In there just in case that runs out good size wardrobe um, we've got obviously it's a daily drive we use it daily so it's got our uh, just like coach jumpers some games picnic blankets in there out the way now you have these little holes here we wondered what they were for at first but they are the actual steps to help climb up into the roof bed um, all solid furniture um, no creaks or moans when you do that. You can also stand on there. And that's a good little shelf for putting like um, toilet rolls stuff. Now you've got a bifold door here. That held together with that strap at the top. And then another clip under the bottom. And then I shall show that then comes across. So it's not full height, but you can't see any what anyone's doing unless you actually want to come over and it is a family we are a family we're not going to be um too embarrassed about that so on this side we have the smoke alarm this is a good spot to hang your tea towel and you have another little sink again with hot and cold water for brushing your teeth washing your hands after doing your doing your necessities good little storage space under there um, we've got a little, um, little another little camping, uh, camping like grill under there, which we can use instead of like a barbecue. Um, 
and then here's the main wardrobe storage down into the bottom and then some hanging rounds hanging hanging space in there now outside the back door so if you can't hear it it is a bit windy you have access to your cassette toilet it's empty in under there I won't show you it fully because we have been using it because we are in lockdown at the minute so a lot of public toilets are closed but we've got space up the top for um, our, our um, electric adapters um, and some gaffer tape can't go anywhere without gaffer tape because that is very useful toilet chemicals and we also have the shower attachment which goes in under there uh, again more useful for beaches if you've ever been to the beach want to wash your feet off outside and I, I have used it uh, when we had trouble with our shower uh, on the driveway tucked in the corner <laughs> so um, yeah it is it, it can it can come in handy not probably a, an everyday shower you'd rather have uh, facilities where possible but um, yeah not bad for a, maybe a weekend so outside here's the uh, pop top up and we do have a Fiamma awning roll out awning and that is very very useful even like days out if you're pulled up next to some grass you can use the uh, you can use it just to keep the sun off inside and we do have a 200 watt solar panel on the roof which seems to work be working very well the uh, charge controller for that is down beside the passenger seat and there's no display but it seems to just get on and do what it needs to do so back inside the van just a quick look we have all led lights um, there's one above the, uh, the sink and then again there's one in the washroom and then one above the cooker and then in the lounge we have two either side of the dinette area which provides plenty of night, light at night time it seems a bit dark in here at the moment because it's quite light outside uh, so just a quick little look at the control panel it's pretty basic um, the uh, battery, there's a battery level it's either in the green once it starts going into the orange um, your fridge might stop working so as we found out um, before we had the solar panel fitted um, so hopefully it won't go into the anywhere near there with the solar panel see uh, water pump turn it on little light comes on and obviously that just keeps that pressurized um, switch it off probably at night or when you go out the light switch for the front lights and that's the one for the fridge and that's about it. Thanks for watching. Um, I think I covered most things, probably missed a few bits, but I'm sure we'll cover them in the future in more videos. Uh, introduce you to the rest of the family and hopefully we'll be back camping soon. Um, we are booked for the 4th of July um, at Grafham Camping and Cam Caravan in Hubsite just for one night. So, uh, hopefully get some footage of that and uh and yeah get you to see the family and see us actually camping in uh in our camper van <laughs>